This is a typical Beckett burner. It's an SDC model. And this is what we use on our pressure washers. Uh, it, can, uh, it can heat up about seven to eight gallons of water on a regular four pancake coil. And that's why we have a preference for this burner. It's more expensive than the ADC, but it's more capable too. Now, this burner consumes more power. It has a more powerful motor. And, uh, well, the igniter is the same as the SDC, I would assume. And then we have the fuel pump and an additional electrical component. This is uh, the fuel solenoid uh, valve coil, and an electric signal causes the fuel to flow when uh, uh, there's a call for heat. Now, what we do in our units is uh, most manufacturers, they wire this typically uh, in a similar fashion as the 120 and the 220 volt burners, which means once you turn the burner switch on, the blower motor and the igniter uh, work full time. Unless, of course, uh, there's a photo cell um, um, enabled where the igniter, uh, once the flame is established, then the igniter disconnects. And the third element is the fuel solenoid valve, which is controlled by this coil uh, through an electrical signal, which typically uh, the signal is provided by a flow or a pressure switch in order to make sure that the flame comes on only when water is flowing through the coils. Okay, in order to simplify, because every time an, uh, uh, an electrical or mechanical component can be eliminated, it's one item less that can cause trouble in the future. So basically what we do, we eliminate this valve entirely and we switch on and off the burner by using a solenoid, uh, uh, a power solenoid. Uh, what it is, is a powerful relay that can switch uh, 100 or 120 amps, depending on the model, and we switch the whole burner on. Uh, it has certain advantages, and one of them is, this motor is a conventional 12-volt uh, DC motor, which rely on internal brushes uh, to carry the power from the battery to make the motor work. The problem is, is that it's a, it is a wear item. Uh, as everybody is familiar, most motors, DC motors, the brushes eventually wear out. So the idea is that when there's no need for heat, is to shut off the entire burner, extending the useful life of the motor. Uh, we've been using this method for years in different applications, and it's proven to be extremely reliable. Now, the, solen uh, the power solenoid, which switches on uh, this motor and the igniter, uh, it requires quite a bit of current in order to, um, to activate it. Typically, you're talking about close to 700 milliamps or 7 tenths of an amp. It doesn't sound like very much, but the uh, tiny contact on, uh, on the flow switch, which uh, uh, the flow switch provides a signal, it can reduce uh, the life of the contacts considerably because of the arcing. When you have 700 milliamps at uh, 13, 14 volts, that is with the uh, charging system working, uh, sometimes after uh, a while, the uh, contacts will not, not, I mean, uh, the terminals will no longer make contact, and what happens is uh, you have a flow switch failure, therefore the burner won't come on. In order to eliminate that, uh, we uh, made a circuit uh, using some uh, solid state components like transistors and, and so forth. And what it does is it enables a small signal from the flow switch to activate a large amount of current to activate the relay. And uh, anyway, we're gonna show how it works. Uh, this is a prototype. Uh, it's made on a, um, on a prototype board, you know, so it's not an actual printed circuit board that will definitely be used on uh, production. But uh, at least, you know, it can give an idea what it looks like and what it does. Okay, now we'll connect uh, these uh, wires to a battery in order to show how the circuit works. So we're gonna connect the brown wire to negative, and the red wire, of course, is gonna go to positive, so everything is ready. This is uh, uh, the printed circuit board, which has a, what is called a silicon control rectifier, or SCR. And this one works as a relay that 
uh, will work in combination with safety devices. In other words, uh, if at a certain point uh, the machine overheats for one reason or another, this first device uh, will disconnect the circuit automatically. Uh, that way, um, the burner doesn't stay on the on condition until the operator uh, sees to what the problem is or whether the machine is repaired or there's something that has been overlooked. But anyway, the way it works is, uh, this is an LED indicator that indicates that when the circuit is on call. When you first press the switch for the burner, basically what happens is that that comes on, which means that this uh, SCR is allowing the circuit to, to operate. Once the, um, the flow switch makes contact, as it can be seen here, this, is, this will be the terminal closest contact, that's done, the contact is done by this other uh, transistor, which in turn uh, switches the, uh, the solenoid, the power solenoid on and off. The reason for all this complication is, is that if we used the flow switch to activate this relay, as we mentioned before, the contacts, uh, the arcing will cause the contacts to burn um, within a certain period of time. Uh, and sometimes it happens relatively quickly, like after a few weeks of operation, and sometimes it takes longer, but it's very difficult to, to, to determine. However, when you use this system, the, the amount of current that goes through these two wires is like 1.2 mil, uh, I'm sorry, 1.5 milliamps. 1.5 milliamps don't produce an arc. It's a very, very tiny amount, but it's a signal that causes this device to switch to a larger current to activate this, uh, this power solenoid. And that's basically the way it works. Everything is, is, is good to go. We have the system tested. Uh, hopefully, uh, we have some uh, printed circuit boards made so that way we can produce this in uh, quantities in order to be able to retrofit the system into our existing machines and also for uh, customers that would like to improve their product, you know, improve the reliability of their hot water system, uh, and this definitely uh, will be the way to go. Thank you.